Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to enable this menu on your OnePlus 7 Pro. All right, so let's dive in and get started. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. All right, so let's find out how to enable that little secret menu that gives you all kinds of little software functionalities. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings, okay? And then you wanna scroll all the way down and you wanna go into the system. So you scroll all the way down, you go to the system right over here, and then go into the accessibility menu. And then from here, tap on the accessibility menu under downloaded services, and then simply say use service. You enable that and boom, you're gonna see a little man at the bottom right over here that is going to give you all kinds of software functionality. So let me show you what they are in case you do not have the actual phone and want to see its properties. So if I tap on this one, immediately you have access to everything. You can turn off the phone, you can tap on the lock screen, it's gonna lock the screen, okay? If I go inside, you can tap it, you can tap on power button, it's going to give you the power off option. And of course, if you tap it one more time, you can also bring your recent applications as you please, which is fantastic. And if I go back home, tap it one more time, I can uh, bring down the brightness right from here. So that's absolutely amazing, all right? And of course, you get the volume up and down controls here. If I tap on this, volume goes up and down, gives you the percentage of the current setting. And of course, I can bring up my Google Assistant from here as well. I can, of course, press and hold this and bring up the Assistant as well, but this is just another way to access it. If I tap this, the Assistant is gonna pop right up. I can start talking to it. Now, that's not everything. If you tap it one more time, and if you click on this arrow, you have options such as being able to take a screenshot. So if I tap on this, boom, you just got a screenshot, all right? If I tap it one more time, you have you, you can actually bring down the notifications panel if you want to, and uh, tap it one more time, and you can go to the quick settings, uh, which are your notification toggles, okay? So that's a great little menu to enhance the ownership of your OnePlus 7 Pro, giving you even more software functions. And of course, there's a lot of things here that can be done with your fingers and everything. I just have a thing for software keys for some reason, and this menu gives me everything that I need right in this little box. For example, with the power button, as you know, you can customize the power button. If you go to the settings uh, real quick, and if I go into buttons and gestures, I can go over here uh, and I can use quick activate the assistant app. So if I enable this, now when I press the power button for 0.5 seconds, it brings up the Google Assistant. So you have to actually press this button down for three seconds. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I press and hold, for 0.5 seconds, this thing comes up right here. And if I press and hold, one, two, three, for three seconds, the actual power functionality pops up. But with, with this menu here, uh, you can use this as, as a dedicated Google Assistant button, the power button, and then over here, you can just, boom, power off, okay? Very quick and fast. But that was a quick video to show you guys uh, how to enable this option. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. But for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.